You had occasion to visit Zwarkin's sister. Tell us that story. Yes, he had a sister who was an MD <coughs> and a very cultured person, therefore, and well-educated and so forth. Uh, but like all people in that category, she was in trouble. Anybody with a good education under Stalin was suspect by him, uh, preferably shot, but if not shot, at least in prison or closely controlled. So she was in that category. She had to live in considerable poverty. She had what amounted, what amounted to a half room. Anyway, I had promised work and that I would try to call her the sister if it could be done safely. He, he warned me about that. Uh, so I established contact with her. We drove the car, my friend and I, um, to about a half mile from where she was. We walked the rest of the way. We weren't supposed to drive the car near to her. We got to her. She was absolutely flabbergasted and pleased and wept to hear about her famous brother, to hear that he was all right, very happy. But at the time we left, she wept again and said, don't come again. It's not, it's not safe. I can't take the risk of having you come here again. Very, very sad situation. What kind of circumstances was she living? Well, we'd call it a half room. It's a, certainly a smaller than ordinary rooms, and that was where her, that's where her life, her bed, everything was there in that room. Mm -hmm. What she was doing in the medical profession, I don't, I don't really know.